Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, we are gonna look at how to find products using Jungle Scout and actually a full Jungle Scout tutorial end to end so you know everything about it. I've yet to find a video online that's actually kind of goes straight to the point so you can actually go out, use Jungle Scout and find products today. Uh, that's the main thing I wanna be able to do to you. No fluff in this video, we're gonna go straight into it. So let's go right now. But wait, before we do, before we do, I forgot, I forgot. Make sure you subscribe, guys. Daily, I say daily, every every two or three days we're doing PayPal giveaways. Um, check out yesterday's video as well. I'll be giving away a free Jungle Scout Chrome extension um, to hopefully as many people as possible. So make sure you check out yesterday's video. I'll link it down below uh, if you want to win some free Jungle Scout memberships. So. Let's get into it now. All right, so the first thing I wanna go over is um, what is Jungle Scout and which ones, well, which kind of services you need to get with them and maybe some alternatives as well. So Jungle Scout is a, a program or a system that scrubs through the Amazon database, through the product database, and it gets all the information about estimated sales, the BSR, the bestseller ranking, number of reviews, uh, even does things like weight and stuff like that. So um, it's really good at indexing Amazon so that you as a, uh, a seller or as a prospective, prospective seller, you can go and basically research through which ones or which products you want to find. For example, if I want to find products that sell for 10 to 12 pounds uh, between you know, uh, half a kilogram and one kilogram with under 100 views, I can go and find those products using Jungle Scout. Um, so they have two services that we, that we really want to look at. The first link in the description is going to be for Jungle Scout. And I would just advise going down and having a look at it. They have a lot of resources. like They have loads and loads of free resources you can look at. They've got like a case study for Amazon. They've got um, you know eBooks that you can read. So they do have a lot of stuff on there that is free content, which is which is actually very, very good content. So I would advise going and look at that. Now there's two things you wanna know about. The first is actually the web app. So we're gonna find the web app first, which is this one here. And this is like Auto Trader for Amazon. So you can really specifically look at which niches you wanna look into, what price ranges, what uh, revenue ranges, and a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna actually show you this live in a second. But that's the first thing we need. And there are a few different versions of this. Uh, but I recommend going for the cheapest one, which I'll show you in a second. We then have something called the Chrome extension. So you need Google Chrome to do this. It's free to download Google Chrome if you don't already have it. It's a little Chrome extension. You see at the top right-hand corner of my screen, it says JS. That's the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. I have a few others here. This is one called Anspecty, uh, which is for uh, kind of assessing actual sales volumes. And then this one is actually a Google uh, sorry, a Facebook Pixel Hub. But just if you want to know what those three are, um, leave in the comments if, if you want me to clarify those. So the Chrome extension is a way where we assess the competition based upon the broadest keyword, so or a keyword in particular. Again, if this doesn't make much sense now, do not worry, it will make sense in the future. Uh, now these are actually the, the numbers that are updated most. So you might find a little difference between the numbers you find on the, the web app and the numbers you find on the Chrome extension. Normally the Chrome extension numbers are more up to date than the web app. However, these do get updated every single month uh, and Jungle Scouts, you know, they, they spend a lot of money doing this. They hire people to do this. So uh, there are other services out there that you can use. Uh, there's one called um, AMZ Scout or Tracker or something like that. There's uh, Amaze Owl, there's Unicorn Smasher. Now, all of those work off a similar theory. However, they the numbers that they have are never as good as Jungle Scout. They're never as specific as Jungle Scout, to my knowledge or from my experience. So if you are going to be using any of these services, I would really recommend looking into Amspecty, which is basically a way of doing something called the 999 cart trick but it's in a Chrome extension, it's nice and easily. I have a video about these, I have a couple of videos about this if you wanna go and find them. I'll try and link them below as well, actually. So basically those are the two things we need. And if you ever get kind of stuck with it, they always have the support from Jungle Scout, which is why I like them. And these are the countries that it's available in. So pretty much all of the countries that sell on Amazon or that are available to sell on Amazon. So what we're gonna do first of all is go up to products in the top left-hand corner. We're gonna have a look at the web app first. This is the first thing you're gonna to need to start finding products. And uh, if we just go down to the prices, that's what you all wanna know about. You can spend the time looking through the pros and cons of all of them. Right, so they have the startup, standard, and business. Now the first thing you have to do is instead of click annual billing, you want to be billed monthly. Because what happens with most people is you might only be researching for one or two months and then you might not need the web app from then on. So all you have to do is then basically turn off your subscription, cancel your subscription to the web app so you won't get charged every single month. So that's why you need to do monthly billing. I would then personally go onto the startup web app. 
Okay, the standard one, yes, you have things like Niche Hunter. Um, you could have two users, which is really cool if you want to split the cost between you and someone else. But personally, I believe the startup is more than enough. You can track 40 products, which again, I'll show you in a minute, rather than 80 products. So start with the startup one. If you then feel that you need the, the bigger one, then go ahead and do that. Um, and if you maybe, if you are, have a big group of people, you can use a business one. But personally, the startup one is perfectly fine. It's more than enough. I would go with that. It's $39 a month, okay? So that's all. That's literally all you need. So that's the first one, okay? That's billed monthly. You can pay debit card, credit card. You can pay with PayPal, but you have to uh, email Jungle Scout directly to be able to pay with PayPal. You can't do it through this button here. Okay, so that is the, the Jungle Scout web app. And then we go to the Chrome extension. So you will need both of these things. Chrome extension. Uh, we're going to skip past all the tutorials because I'm going to show you that in a minute. We want to go to the the price. So say, look, the first thing is done is say, hey, this is the most popular, the pro one. It's not. It's not the most popular one. Uh, we want to go down to where is it? What did I just click? Uh, here we. Uh, okay, I've I've gone back somehow. That's weird. We want to go forward. Okay, here we go. There, uh, see they. They're sneaky with that, they're sneaky with that. So you can go for the Pro Chrome extension. The only real things that it has differently are I think these, either these four things or these three things different. The FBA fee estimator, we don't really have to worry about that because we can go to FBA calculator. All right, just type in FBA calculator into Google, it's the top result, and just use that. It's from Amazon directly, and you can literally just use that for free. So I don't really believe that you you actually need the uh, the pro extension. However, if you want to make it easy and you want to just go in and go ahead and do that, but I would personally go for the light version, which is the one that I have, okay? So I, I, of course, I already have it. <laughs> so it's just taken me to, uh, to, the, to the right page where I can, ex uh, um, I can upsell myself, but just go for the light version. That's the one you want, okay? Light version, Chrome extension and startup web app. Nice and easy. So let's go and actually use the web app first of all, and then we're gonna go ahead and use the Chrome extension. Now, this is how you find products, okay? Let's just talk about the navigation first, if you don't know. Product tracker is where you can track your products that you're potentially looking at over the space of days and weeks, okay? But the first thing we wanna do is go on to the product database, okay? So you click here, you can see the market uh, marketplaces on the left-hand side. Now, I'm in the UK, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on UK. If you're in any of these different marketplaces, you just go ahead and click them. Hopefully, we're gonna see Australia added to here soon when Amazon in Australia does does launch fully. Now, the categories here, you can choose the category. So for example, um, you can say, I, I, and what I like to do personally is I turn them all on and then I take off the ones that I don't particularly want to see, okay? So you might want to start by getting rid of the ones that are gated categories or the ones that you don't really want to sell. Um, so I don't like selling any of these things here. Uh, actually, we'll keep, we'll keep that one on. Uh, DVD, Blu-ray, grocery, health and personal care, they're gated, jewelry's gated. I don't want large appliances, software I don't really want, and watches I don't want. Now, those are where you can start. However, if you, um, if you want to get ungated in some of these categories, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, I can teach you how to do that. Uh, there are some links down in the description. You can turn on beauty, you can turn on grocery and health and personal care. But what this is doing, we're telling Jungle Scout, hey, we want to find products in these categories, only these categories. If you turn on beauty, for example, it's now gonna find products that meet your criteria in the beauty category as well. So you can spend time playing around with this. You can go maybe one category at a time, so you can get overwhelmed with loads of different search results. Next is your filters. Now this is really where, where you have to spend your time, okay? We wanna find products in generally around kind of 10 to, you know, you can go up to 45, but for a beginner getting started in FBA, you're really gonna go up to probably about 25 or let's go 30, 30 pounds. So we can find things at 29.99. Um, or even you can go from nine, let's go 9.95 and upwards. So we can find things that are just below 10 pounds as well. Now we can look at things like the uh, kind of the net revenue, the rank, the estimated sales, the estimated revenue. Um, we can look at those things, but I find them not very useful to look at because it's really dependent on the price and the amount of amount of sales that they're getting then equates to the amount of revenue. So I'm gonna personally look for maybe more than 300 sales. We can, we can change this around, you can go from 250, you can go 400. Now you want, you're gonna to wanna to look at some of my other videos about how to set this criteria. 
But for using the, the Chrome extension, or sorry, the web app, let's just go ahead and do this. Reviews, we can go from anything from zero to let's say 150, just for argument's sake. Rating, I don't personally worry about. Uh, rating, you know, you can put four or five, let's, you know, the, the stars on Amazon, this is basically the rating. I don't think it's really an issue. Weight, this is in pounds, so maybe up to three pounds um, is somewhere good to start. You really want something as light as possible when we're doing FBA. Numbers of sellers, I don't really worry about. Listing quality, I don't worry about other, other, otherwise. Again, what am I saying? Don't know. Um, product tier. So there's two options here, standard and oversized. Now, the FBA fees um, get very expensive when you go oversized. So we want to have it standard size, okay? That's standard size and smaller because that means it's gonna be a good option for us as an FBA seller. Next one options we have is the seller options. I personally leave this completely blank. I wanna see everyone selling this item and not just Amazon, not just fulfillment by Amazon or fulfillment by merchant. Now you will see this abbreviated on the Chrome extension as AMZ, FBA or FBM. So that's what these actually mean, okay? You can use keywords and you can exclude keywords, which is quite nice if you wanna exclude maybe brands like get rid of Nike. Um, how many results page, how many results you want per page, and then just press, just press search. Literally as easy as that. So now what it's doing is going through its database and it's finding products that meet this exact criteria, okay? Now this is where your product research is, is kind of done. And this is where it takes time as well. So you're gonna go through all of these listings and you're gonna assess them for if they're gonna be a viable option for you to, to private label and to sell using FBA. Now this video, I'm not gonna go through and find products because I've got plenty of other videos doing exactly that. Um, but this is how you use the web app, okay? And hey, you might not find something straight away, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through, and there's a lot of, there's how many results are there? There's, look, 8,000 results, 8,000 results. So that's gonna take a long, long time to go through. So what I would personally recommend is instead of looking at all categories, I would turn them all off, and then maybe look at one category in particular. So let's look at home and kitchen, a very popular category because it's ungated, you, every, anyone can sell in it. Then we've got some food containers, we've got a knife block, uh, more food containers, some Christmas stuff. Wouldn't personally sell the Christmas stuff. Glow sticks I personally wouldn't sell because of the chemicals inside. We've got some things like that, foil trays, bags, uh, stencil set, which is pretty cool. Pocket okay, oversized door, shoe store is a pretty interesting one. So these are potential products that we can look into. I'm not saying that go ahead and sell these. I'm just saying these are things that you can go ahead and look into as viable options for FBA. Um, so that's basically, that is the web app and that's really all you use it for. What you then can do is say, for example, we wanna sell or we're looking to sell these 14 pack and meal prep containers. You have a few options here. You can add to the product tracker. So all you do is you press add product to your tracker you get a notification, so it's done. You can even click it and it will take you to the listing on Amazon. Uh, we, we're not, there it is, just if you wanna, if you wanna see it. Uh, we're then gonna go to product tracker, on the top left. And you can see, this is gonna be one of our, I believe it was 40 um, products that we can track at any one time. So what you might wanna do, if you're considering going into this product, you can get maybe the top 10 listings of this product, which I'll show you in a second, and you can track every single one of them just by finding them on Jungle Scout. You can type in the product ASIN or the URL. You wanna know what the ASIN is, you go to that product listing, there's two places you'll find it. In, uh, I'm not sure if you can actually see this, let me scroll down. It's gonna be right here. You see that B06W number? or letters and numbers, that's the ASIN, or if you scroll down the product listing itself, you're gonna find it just here under additional information, just there, okay? So you can actually type, you know, put these in, type them in, copy and paste them in, and you'll be able to find those products and track them over a period of days, which is super, super important um, if you want to be able to um, just check that it's gonna be a good option. I would also recommend looking into uh, Amspecty as well, again, which I will link down below. I'll link the video of how it works down below. Okie dokie, cool. So those are the two things you really use. Uh, niche Hunter, you can use it. It's basically another way of doing product research where you look at niches rather than everything and you have these little kind of, um, uh, I guess, sliders, if that makes sense. So average units sold between 260. It basically works in a similar way um, to the product database. I don't personally use it. Uh, the reason being is because I, I have to upgrade my plan because everything can really be done through the product database. So I don't personally think it's needed. If you have the, the standard web app, you'll be able to use it. If you have the uh, startup web app, you won't. It's really not necessary in my opinion. 
Okay, cool. So that's the web app. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Um, and of course, with these, just play around with these, go from 15 to 17. You can get really, really specific with this stuff if you want to um, attack it in kind of little chunks. If you don't have a huge amount of time to go through pages and pages of listings, but there's so many products on Amazon, there's so many options to be selling. But let's go ahead and use this as an example, okay? Meal prep containers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get what we would class as the broadest keyword, which means that when you're a customer on Amazon, what do you actually search to try and find this product? Not what is the product actually called, it's what do you search to try and find the product? So I would say meal prep containers potentially, potentially could be it. I don't really know though, but let's go with meal prep containers. Um, there is probably a, a more broad keyword, but hey, we're not gonna worry about it. Type it into the search field and make sure you are in all departments because again, people don't search in home and kitchen, they search in all departments. So we want to be as if we were a customer, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the listings. So here are all the listings, uh, a couple of them are sponsored at the top, and then we've got these, um, you know, all these listings down below, okay? Fantastic. Now this is where the light Chrome extension comes into play. So we want to assess all of this competition. We want to see how many they're selling, how many reviews they've got. We can kind of guesstimate how much uh, how much money they're making. So all you do is you click, once you're on this page here, you click the Jungle Scout Chrome extension and it starts loading up and indexing everything and scrubbing through this page to find all of that information. So as you can see, if you hover over, you'll be able to see each of these meal containers so you can you know, have a quick look at them. If you find something that's not quite right, that you know, that's not the same product, then all you have to do is press this little cross over here and that's gonna get rid of it out of your search terms. If there's loads of products that are different, you've probably got the wrong um, keyword you're searching for. So go back to your listing and think about again, what's the broadest keyword. You can see the brands that sell it. Now if you see loads of brands of the same brand, for example, Emerald uh, Living, I guess it is, they've got a lot on that first page. So you know, they're ones to be kind of reckoned with because they're making a lot of sales. They'll be making a bit more money from this. Um, and potentially they're going to be big competition for you. So if you see one seller with lots of different um, lots of different listings, just look into it a little bit more and understand why they have different listings. Are they different products? Are they bundled differently? That's probably going to be the case of being bundled differently. You can then have a look at the price and actually see the average sales price about £11.49. Me, personally, I want to look at the most expensive ones. I want to see how many they're selling and I wanna see uh, where they are in the search listings and what the product is, okay? So that's a 10 pack, that's a 14 pack, okay? Of three compartment, that's a one compartment, that's a two compartment. So you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna analyze these products and find either a gap in the market or you're gonna find the best selling one um, or the best return on your investment because that's the one we wanna sell, all right? Then we go see what category it is in. Just make sure the category is one that you're allowed to sell in straight off and it's not, you can get ungated. The sales rank, which you know is important, definitely, um, but sometimes it's not as important as the sales volume and the reviews, okay? And um, if these are really, really different, um, then it maybe needs a little bit more time looking into why that is the case, okay? Now, this is a big one, sales. Bear in mind, this is estimated sales. This isn't actual sales, it's estimated off the BSR, which stands for Best Seller Ranking which is this one here. The Jungle Scouts say, hey, if you're selling 380, uh, if you're rank 381 in home and kitchen, you're selling around 1,064 uh, 1, units uh, a month. Okay, so it kind of estimates that, it's very good at estimating it, but it is estimation, so always a pinch of salt, use the 999 cart trick or this Chrome extension just to double check how many they're selling every single day rather than just going off these figures blindly, because they can be wrong, especially if you're using something that isn't Jungle Scout. You can then see the amount of revenue they're generating from that product and the amount of reviews. You can see the rating, like the star rating, and if they're an FBA seller or if they're fulfilled by merchant seller or an Amazon seller. So you can actually see there the little, um, the little abbreviations. These are all FBA sellers, okay? So this is what we're looking for. We're looking for something, a product that has sales very similar to this in terms of pretty, you know, most of them are over 200. Um, a few that you know, a few that are kind of around that mark, but most of them are doing pretty well. And then in terms of reviews, we want most of them to be under 100 reviews. Now this is um, it's it's competitive, but it's not super 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 competitive. You've got one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven. You've got actually you've got seven over 100 reviews, so that is potentially very competitive. 
However, you've got in this mid pack here, you've got a bit of an option to kind of squeeze in there with, uh, with some sales, or you can squeeze in kind of down here with some sales as well, okay? So would I go for this product personally? Not right now. I think if you got into this product maybe a month or two ago, uh, it would have been a great FBA choice. If you wanna go into it now, you get a good price for your units. Um, you're able to sell it for a little bit more and you have a bit more money to do some giveaways so you can get some more reviews. Then again, it could be something to, to look into. But great FBA product, uh, great sales, okay reviews, maybe a bit, bit too high on the reviews. But that's, that, that's basically how I use the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. It's, it's, to be honest, it's very easy to use. Very, very easy. And you can even do things like extract the next page. So if you want to see the second page results, you know, if you're thinking, oh, I can't get on the first page, how many sales would I be making if I'm on the second page? And you can go ahead and you can look at all that. You can even do things like uh, a Google Trend Report, which is quite cool. So if we do a Google Trend Report, it will take us to Google Trends. And then it will see our keyword, meal prep containers, prep containers. And you'll see kind of the search uh, kind of uh, interest over time. So you see it's going down over time, over the past 12 months. So that might mean that it's... it's um, it's kind of losing kind of juice over time, but you never know. This is something you can check. You know, you can check if it's seasonal. If you go to the past five years, and you can see actually over the grand scheme of things, it is getting more. You know, over the past five years, it's getting more, um, more. You know, it's getting more search volume. Okay, I've got loads in January fourteen. January, sorry, January 2017. And uh, that could be because, you know, New Year's resolutions, people want to eat more healthy. So maybe maybe pay attention to this over January, okay? But those are the two things that you're going to be using. Now, there is another way to use a, the Chrome extension. You can click on one of the listings. And again, you can click the Chrome extension. Oh, and that will show you, again, that person's product and any other products on this page. It will also show you them as well, okay? So you might find products. So for example, these ones here, all these are gonna be showing on that, that Chrome extension. Uh, these ones here as well. So you might be able to find like a rogue product that uh, you, you might not have been able to find normally. But that Chrome extension only works on Amazon, um, just like on the Amazon search results or the actual product page itself. So those are the two things, guys. Remember, you've got the web app, which is for finding products that meet your criteria. And then the Chrome extension is for analyzing that search page for your most broad keyword, okay? Take screenshots of this, so you can take a screenshot. If you want any advice, feel free to send me the screenshots. You can blank out the product name and stuff like that if you don't want me to see that. Um, and I can just analyze the things like the sales and the reviews and the price. Those are the things I really need to see if I, if I want to give you a quick analysis. If, um, if I need more information, I'll say, hey, you need to let me know a bit more about why the prices are so different or uh, why are the sales volumes are so off as well? You know, are some of these ones different products? If, if, if they are different products, just do that little cross and get rid of it just like that, okay? So hopefully that makes sense, guys. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions about Jungle Scout, um, of course you can reach out to me via email. I will always be available via email. Um, you can, of course, comment down below if you just wanna ask any questions. And I, obviously I love the comments. I love it when you comment. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. And if you do want to win a free version of that Chrome extension, all you have to do is go to yesterday's video, make sure you're subscribed, you have notifications turned on, you comment, you make sure you comment and like the video on yesterday's post. Um, if, you, if you're not interested in the video, just scroll to the end and I'll explain how to enter properly and I'll be giving away uh, Jungle Scout Chrome extensions to you lovely subscribers. So uh, that's just a thank you from me to you. That's it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I've got loads of interesting content coming this week. I will be doing the announcement for the Christmas giveaway. So if you haven't seen that video, I uploaded it on Christmas Day. I'm giving over like 700 pounds worth of stuff away. So make sure you go and watch that video as well. I got, you've got to watch all the videos, guys. You've got to watch all the videos. And I will see you, of course, tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>